the Roald Dahl story I've chosen is Matilda and I'm going to read you a little bit from the chapter The Hat and the Superglue. The following morning, just before the father left for his beastly second-hand garage, Matilda slipped into the cloakroom and got hold of the hat he wore each day to work. She had to stand on her toes and reach up as high as she could with a walking stick in order to hook the hat off the peg, and even then she only just made it. The hat itself was one of those flat-topped pork pie jobs with a jay's feather stuck in the hat band, and Mr Wormwood was very proud of it. He thought it gave him a rakish daring look, especially when he wore it at an angle with his loud check jacket and green tie. Matilda holding the hat in one hand and a thin tube of super glue in the other, proceeded to squeeze a line of glue very neatly all around the inside of the rim of the hat. Then she carefully hooked the hat back on the peg with a walking stick. She timed this operation very carefully, applying the glue just as her father was getting up from the breakfast table. Mr Worman didn't notice anything when he put the hat on, but when he arrived at the garage, he couldn't get it off. Super glue is very powerful stuff. So powerful it would take your skin off if you pull too hard. Mr Wormwood didn't want to be scalped, so he had to keep his hat on his head the whole day long. Even when he was putting sawdust in gearboxes and fiddling with mileages on cars with his electric drill, in an effort to save face, he adopted a casual attitude, hoping that his staff would think he'd actually meant to keep his hat on all day long, just for the heck of it, like gangsters do in films. When he got home that evening, he still couldn't get the hat off. Don't be silly, said his wife. Come here, I'll take it off for you. She gave the hat a sharp yank. Mr Wormwood let out a yell that rattled the window panes. Ow! he screamed. Don't do that, let go, you'll take the skin off my forehead. Matilda, nestling in her usual chair, was watching this performance over the rim of her book with some interest. What's the matter, Daddy, she said. Has your head swollen or something? The father glared at his daughter with deep suspicion.